This week on Your City Now, City Council reviews the police department's use of force policy, Pride Fest goes virtual, and Arts and Venues invites you to explore the great outdoors. These stories are just ahead on Your City Now. I dedicate to the citizens of Denver, the mayor, the city council, and all the people that serve in the Department of Public Safety, that we will be a leader in the systematic and strategic transformation in the criminal justice system. With those words, Denver Executive Director of the Department of Safety opened this week's Safety Committee meeting as council members sought to review the department's policies on the use of force and crowd control measures during recent protests in Denver. Mr. Robinson was accompanied by Denver Police Chief Paul Pazin, who reviewed the police department's training programs and policies for the council members. An emotionally charged public comment period saw speakers weighing in on topics including training, improved checks and balances on officers, building relationships with residents before a crisis or emergency, and individual experiences of confrontations during the recent protests. Then the council members presented a plethora of questions to the director in chief, ranging from when peace officers use force against residents, the use of new officers during protests, upcoming independent investigations into police activity, the costs of chemical weapons, damages, and overtime, to how officers would be held accountable for any abuse of authority towards citizens. We need to rebuild trust in Denver and start about reevaluating what how we come from that and starting creating processes that build trust, not just listening. The meeting concluded with a pledge to the public for more meetings on all these pertinent topics. There's no way for us to avoid this discussion. The time is in front of us, okay? It's going to be had. You'll, you'll make your decision a few months or several months down the road or whenever. Have we stood up and, and answered the call or not? You can watch the entire meeting at denver8.tv. It's time again to break out your rainbow boa, but in the safety of your own home, as Denver's Pride Festival takes place virtually this year. A slate of online entertainment will take center stage, including several national drag performers. There will also be an hour-long special called Together We Rise that will focus on how the LGBTQ community has overcome the many challenges it has faced. Denver's Pride Parade will also happen this year via your computer. Community members submitted virtual parade units via video, and those videos will be broadcast with live commentary. Don't miss out on these and a host of other events. Visit denverpride.org for a full schedule of happenings. Public art is one of the most obvious expression of a city's culture and creativity, and there's no shortage of it in the Mile High City. Denver's Arts and Venues Agency wants to encourage everyone to explore the city's outdoor art collection. From vibrant murals to our beloved Blue Bear, Denver's public art makes a stroll through the city a cultural experience all its own. Go online to denverpublicart.org to learn about Denver's art scene. The site provides a behind-the-scenes look at the creative process with an archive of artists' studios. Click on Family Friendly for a selection of interactive and educational art for the kids. Pick your neighborhood or one across the city to curate a personalized walking tour for family and friends. The City of Denver has partnered with local artists to create a Black Lives Matter mural located on Broadway in front of the Capitol building. The city approached us both about teaming up on this project and offering us a platform, and they wanted to dedicate this block of Broadway to become Black Lives Matter Boulevard. I think that inspiration and that vision, but also that strength to fight for steps towards equality, I think it's going to help perpetuate change. Additionally, the Black Love Mural Festival in Civic Center Park kicked off last Friday and runs through June 30th. Solidarity, that's the message, solidarity and um, acceptance, not tolerance. Fighting for what people have been trying to get for a minute, you know what I mean? Equality and just a right to just be who we are, you know? If you want to paint and you're black, come, come get down. If you want to come and check it out, you're welcome, come check it out. Be a part of the love and, and support local artists, you know? You can catch new episodes of Your City Now every Friday. Thanks for watching, Denver.